Greetings and welcome back to Exodus Borealis. I'm Catherine of Sky and I have done a lot of investigating and we are going to explore gems and how to put them into towers and all those kinds of things. I've done quite a lot of testing and we are going to make some really killer towers. So uh, first thing we want to do is uh, make sure that we have enough housing I think we don't right now everybody has a home but we're at six of six so I want to make some more houses I also want to um, let's look at our jobs again and see what we have here builders lumberjacks we have this and this and that we can use another miner so let's add another miner and let's see charcoal we have enough right now but we can use some more mortar masons and then probably some more people smelting. So let's see, this mine does stone and this one does ore. But what we want to do is upgrade a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see, we were under warm clothes. So let's go ahead and get, actually, you know what? I want to get, um, mm, kind of want to get healing first because that's going to be important. I also want to build some new farms because we need them. Okay, these are going to be high priority to build these farms. We'll build, let's see, one, two, three, four for now. Uh, also, we're going to look at these trees because I don't know why they're all deciduous. I thought I would, I transferred them to the ones that grow longer and yield more wood. But I don't know if they flipped or something like this because it feels like coniferous take... A shorter amount of time to grow like IRL um, and that like like an oak tree for example takes a while to grow but it yields a whole bunch of hard wood whereas coniferous is always soft wood but anyway we will just change those all to coniferous right now uh, so that when they are replanted they will be replanted as coniferous so um, they won't chop them down immediately so that's really nice like so you can have um, mixed plots uh, as you're changing over, which is kind of interesting. All right, so there we go. Let's do this. Um, all right, and we have probably, let's see, we have how many people doing stuff? We've got three general workers. I'm gonna go ahead and put in another builder because having more builders means that people will carry materials to the construction sites, and we definitely want that. Now, after those farms are built, I have plans. So let's get those going. Let's go quickly. All right, so what we want to do here is, did we get the textile mill built? Yes, we did. Now these are, let's see, planted in spring. We might be able to get some fibera leaf uh, going. Let's get these two doing fibera leaf. Good, good, good. Oh, this is great. Woohoo. All right, and that's gonna give us a little bit of wood as well. Nice, nice. Very, very good. This makes me happy get this one fibera leaf as well looks like the farmers are doing their darndest I'm gonna go ahead and put in another couple of farmers real quick we're gonna take those people off later but I do want them to help getting these fields planted I wonder if you can have more than one farmer working on a field I guess not because we have four the other person maybe is on break or something <laughs> I don't know if you can have more than one in a plot I guess we'll see Anyway, ah, builders, yes. Let's go get these builders going. So somebody brought up a really great strategy in the comments, and they said, hey, KOS, you can do this thing, which is you can build walls, which cost very little investment, uh, and yet the monsters will path, because if we look at the size of these towers, look at how big of an area. I mean, monsters can keep pathing and pathing for quite a long time before they're out of range of the tower, and the towers can kind of shoot through the walls anyway. So this is absolutely fabulous. All right, so what we want to do here is we want to get a... I do want to do a blast tower somewhere here. And by the way, I did uh, send an email to the developer. He's a really cool person. Um, his name is Mike, and he actually created the entire game by himself. Uh, single dev. It's awesome. And um, I was just watching his dev blog on how he created. Remember, we were admiring all of the buildings and stuff. He says he's not an artist, so he took assets, uh, retextured them, and then built them by hand himself. And so, like, all the pieces that kind of fly up into the, the buildings when you're building them are all the little assets. I thought that, that's so great. It's awesome. And I think he's become an artist just by, like, 
I don't know, just building all of these cool things. Anyway, I love it. So anyway, so let's get back to this whole thing. We're, we want to build a, let's see, we're going to build a blast tower here. Ah, yes. And if you're upgrading a wall into a blast tower, there is a dialogue that will um, pop up before it is confirmed. You actually have to confirm the direction. Remember, we were um, kind of puzzling over that last time. So, yep, that is a thing. You can choose that, which is kind of awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put a wall here. I don't think they can get out here because that is an uh, unbuildable area. Actually, though, you know what? I'm just going to be safe. Let's just cancel this one and put in a wall there for now. And we can actually look at that building kind of thing. So here, I'm going to build the rest of these as normal walls um, for now. And then these actually can be... I'll leave them for now. I won't put any more. It's easy enough to put them on. This needs to be deleted with high priority. And so now we're going to have this huge maze um, without having much uh, investment here. So let's see, we have a wall here. Uh, this is going to be a bombardment tower, but I actually want to change this one. I want to cancel this upgrade and I want to make this a boost tower because I learned something very cool, uh, which is that multiple boost towers can affect towers, these, these other towers. So we're going to try to put in a few different boost towers and see where we get because I think it's going to be fabulous. In fact, I think I might change this one also to a... I hmm. wonder what I should do with this one. This could be... Let's cancel this upgrade and also make this one a boost tower. So I want to do high priorities for these to be boost towers. No. There we go. High... There we go. And then they can also build the other stuff. So let's see. Farmers are done. Let's take the people out of farming. We had three farmers, so that's how many I want to have afterward. We also got healing going on. Healing is going to be super, super important for us. Um, I think... Let's see. What did we have here? This is all Fibera Leaf. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is once this gets uh, harvested... It's harvested in the fall. We're going to change a couple of these to mushrooms. And mushrooms are the things that need are needed by the healer's hut to extend the life of our foxes. So yeah, uh, we're going to do that. All right, so what do we got here? Textile mills on normal. That's fine. Let's just let them look at this. They are really going to town on these walls. Check this out. We just need them to finish those two. Ooh, oh, that got a little bit loud. Hello? Okay. All right, it's fine now. We're, we're just... Drowning in the rain, but it's fine. Okay, guys, fix these two, please. Hello. Okay, but they're all gonna go, go home. All right, I do want to build a few more houses. I feel like it's critically important, especially for winter, especially as people are growing up and doing things. So let's go ahead and uh, add a couple of houses. These are land too rough. Oh no, land is too rough. That sounds rough because it's rough. Let's see. Citizens, anybody without a home? Everybody has a home so far, but I'm really afraid. Let's see. These are... This is summer, so they're being tended. That's good. So we're probably going to replace these two fields with mushrooms and then leave these two as the um, Fibera leaf. Oh, actually, there's six as Fibera leaf. That's even that's great because the I've noticed that the harvests of Fibera leaf are kind of small, so it's good to kind of get more of those. All right, so this is great. Oh, we got another boost tower. Oh, happy days! All right, let's check our research. And what we want to do is look at this ice boost greatly increases the tower's max damage. Hooray! Let's choose that one. This is gonna be good. All right, folks, keep on working, 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 please. Go, go, go. So this one's going to affect all of these towers. Let's see, this is going to be a bombardment tower. Perfect. We want, definitely want that. Um, but yeah, we need to get a couple of things going here. It looks like we are getting plenty of mortar. Let's see, what do we got here with people? Healers. Let's have one person be... Ah, oh, we can't healing I think without mushrooms actually I'm not sure um, they may not have as much of an effect but we definitely need more people so hopefully we're gonna have a good harvest of food and uh, our people will reproduce more that would be good 
Oh, 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 look at this. People, foxy people carrying stuff into the, um, the storage sheds. Nice, nice. Looking good. Okay, so now we have a much bigger maze. I'm going to go ahead and put these on high priority as well. Go, go, go. Okay, so what is this? This end up being a wall gate. Do we want it to be a wall gate? I don't know. But these, I think, we definitely want to upgrade with to be bombardment towers, these two. So that they can get boosted. I kind of don't want to get rid of this large tower right now. Actually, what we can do, let's cancel this upgrade and make it a large tower. Yeah, let's cancel this one and make it a large arrow tower. There we go. Okay, and we'll put those on high because large arrow towers are actually pretty useful. Let's make this high and get these going because these are only five wood and stone each. Definitely need this to be high. We have no iron. So I want to, let's see, let's go into job management and put somebody in the smelter for now. We might take people out of charcoal for a bit, though having the smelter, people are gonna be using a lot of charcoal. Okay, let's put in a another wall here. Oh, ice boost is ours now, hooray! Okay, this is good. So um, the other gems that we actually have are, we have life, but I'm not that crazy about the life gem. Reduced size allows for targets to cluster together. That's kind of like, I don't know. What we, got, we could also do is a uh, greater ice mine. Hmm. Yeah, um, that is... That's really great, but then we can't use our only ice gem. <laughs> Very sad. Um, the other thing that we do have is sublime well-being, uh, but we also need, okay, we need steel to upgrade the towers. Let's get that first. But this one is also super important because we get the, the well-being bonus being doubled. Okay, so we got a sprinting level two demon. This is not great, but we're gonna do our best. Okay. Okay, we are killing them. This is great. This is kind of great. Look at that. Oh, oh, they're getting all caught. No, they're trying to get through the gate, but no, no, no. We shall not let them. No, no. Oh, no. Woo, there we go. Very nice. All right, we did a thing. Hooray. Okay, so we repelled the, the attackers. So we're going to get steel. Oh, we got steel already. Great. Now, I did want to get... Did we get the greater... Um, greater mines? Okay, so we have the greater mines. That's great. I think... Oh, geez. This is going to be really hard. What we can do instead of having an ice boost, which I think would be great, is we can use... Uh, I think it's the wind gem. Let's let's go ahead and research this thing. Oh, wait, we didn't get steel yet. Huh? Hello? Hello? Okay, uh, this thing... Okay, that's... Uh, uh, okay, boosts. Yeah, there we go. So, Terra increases AoE hit radius. That's not what I was looking at. Uh, but this increases the attack frequency for attacking towers. Now, I did ask specifically uh, if this is the case, but... You know these whole damage um, negations? They don't apply when it's a boost tower. So a wind can boost a an ice tower or boost a water tower, whatever. These uh, damage things don't apply to the actual boosting things. So I didn't quite uh, get that through the things. Um, as in, I, uh, I didn't even realize the descriptions were different. So... <laughs> I guess I should have compared them more closely, but that was a good thing to find out so that we can actually make these towers super, super effective. Um, it's going to be pretty good. Let's see. So this is upgrading to a wall gate. I don't know if I actually want the gate there. Let's cancel this and I'm going to make this another boost tower, I think. Let's do a boost tower here. High upgrading and then I'll put the gate. Maybe I should put it here, like at the very end. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's put this gate here instead. They'll have to walk a little bit further, but it's it's going to be okay, I think. It'll be fine. Okay, let's make sure we have enough stuff. We do not have enough ore, and I'm very tempted. I think 
Oh, what we can do actually is create a greater mine. So this increases the odds of finding elemental gems by 50%. So let's go ahead and upgrade those. Because we definitely want to be finding more gems if we can. I'm going to go ahead and build another mine. I'm going to put this one as far back as I can because we might need more. So yeah, there we go. We'll be fine. It'll be great. I do want to get this thing created though, the textile mill. Ah, that's right. It can't be created because there's no iron. Ah, we'd have a little bit now. We have a little bit. Okay, so where are we? We are in fall. That means this, um, the fibera leaf will be harvested. So that's a good, good thing. That means we can change those in a bit. Okay, walls are happening. This is great. We want to get these walls done. Yeah, there we go. People are bringing stuff to the walls. Hooray. Yay. Good, good, good. And then high on these as well, if we can. Yay. Oh, oh no, oh no. We have more monsters coming. Oh no. It's okay though. We should chill. We should be fine. Job management. Do we have a cook? We actually do have a cook. I'm not sure that I want to have a cook though. I'd rather have a, another miner. We have a weaver. Um, a weaver is good to have. Oh, we, we did finish the weaving house, right? Hello? Oh no! Did I? Oh jeez. I think I must have pressed cancel or something. Let's get that back up here. I'm not sure what happened. Sorry about that. That was very strange. One thing I really like, by the way, about um, Mike's design of these buildings, they are weird. They're lovely though. Like these like little like this one is sort of square shaped on the bottom like cross shaped but the roof is just this lovely lovely like curved and it's not just curved in one dimension it's curved upward as well so it's like really really cool makes the buildings like really distinct like i can tell a house from a school from another thing it's neat i like that that variety makes it so easy to to kind of identify your stuff as well as the flags the flags are great i like that it's very um it's very gamey to have these flags like you know your villagers would know where the research hut was but uh, it helps the player <laughs> it really helps the players so i'm all in favor of this <laughs> okay so let's see we have um stuff going on here we want to what do we want to do we want to i guess these are um, these are good. They just need a lot of wood. So I'm guessing we just let it go. Let it do its thing. So we have right now four fields of sand fruit. So this is 28 people food. So let's see how many we have. We have 20 right now. Um, that's good. I guess that's enough for now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these to life rush and mushrooms so that they can be um, planted. They are planted in the winter time and then they are, wait, hold on a second. They're planted in the winter and summer harvest. What about these? Planted in spring and fall harvest. Okay, so that there's nothing that we can like kind of overlap with them and double use the fields or, or anything. Okay, we're gonna keep on going here. Let's do some more research. We would like sublime well-being, sure. And we can also use steel. Now we have iron, but it's being used. I think we're using it for the mines and also for some other stuff. Let's upgrade this one to a greater mine as well. Put that on high. Yeah, that needs iron, right? Yeah, 20 iron. Okay, we are having level hell to spy. Oh god, level level hell to spiders uh, <laughs> coming around. So total level of 116, and that is kind of the number of enemies times whatever level they are, generally. And so sometimes you're overwhelmed with numbers, uh, like lots and lots of invaders, and sometimes it's the level of the creature. As in, I've seen some very difficult demons to defeat. Um, but those got killed quite easily, as you see. That's great. Alright, so here we are. We definitely want to mine ore here and not stone. Alright, doing good. Doing, doing well. Doing all the things. So, these guys are now sorted. These are still leaf, fiber leaf. Yes, mushrooms. Good, good, good. 
All right, and we will get our textile mill going as soon as we get enough iron. There is another cool building that we haven't gotten yet, and it's the braziers. Those are actually awesome. So I'm looking forward to getting some of those. I'm hoping that our birth rate goes up. Now, do we have the healer's hut yet? No, I don't think so. We need to get that healing hut. It also has a very unique shape. Okay, I guess we're going to have to just put it on this kind of like cliff edge. That'll be okay. But I want to get that up go up and going. Um, Yeah, there we go. Next morning, winter of year six. We're going to be great though. We are doing so fabulously. Oh no, Nadia has died of old age. Backfilled by a general worker. That's good. Okay, so we have enough workers to, to replace people as they're dying off. Let's see, we are in constant need of iron for these things. I also feel like I should build some towers over here. So let's make this like a large arrow tower there. And then shall we do some like bombardment towers? So when you're doing towers, by the way, you have to, um, if you want to upgrade with a gem, they have to be a special tower. Like they can't be just Oh, apparently. No, 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 no. Small hour towers cannot be upgraded with gems. So you have to have like a bombardment tower or a boost tower or the blast tower. Uh, so, so, so you can, I can upgrade this to an ice tower because I have the research into ice damage. With boost tower, you have to have the boost uh, thing researched. Let's see what else we have. We have a wind gem. So let's go ahead and research wind. Oh, well, okay. Apparently we didn't get the other research done. Whoops. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No worries at all. Okay, we have our mushrooms getting planted. This is kind of great. Hooray. Good, good, good. And all of our fruit being harvested. Nice, the sun fruit. All right, things are going well. All right, so this is still, we are still needing iron. Looks like we are very short on iron. Let's see. We have three miners, though. Hello? Okay, wind damage is done. I want to get the sublime well-being. I think that's kind of important. Let's see, seven of eight houses are occupied, so I definitely want to buy another house or build another house or two or seven maybe. Let's see, land too rough up there. But here, yes. Okay, sublime well-being is done. Let's get, um, yeah, let's get the wind boost because that's really good civilian buildings at two two extra houses yeah we'll have three extra houses and that's good okay invader wave with a total level of 117 armored ogres are really nasty <laughs> i don't like the armored creatures i've looked through the elements and there's nothing that like targets uh armor specifically but you'll see as they're coming along. Whoa, what's this? This is fun. Hello. Why is the screen shaking? Okay, apparently it's wind that makes the screen shake. But anyway, they have this yellow bar underneath. It's a little bit difficult to see. I actually kind of would like to see, like from here. I usually look from oh, god mode because we're a goddess after all. Uh, <laughs> just joking. But it's harder to see that armor bar. So I'd like to see them kind of, I don't know, a little bit more visible maybe. Um... Anyway, and we have, we have, we have dead ogres. <laughs> that was not bad at all, was it? I think it's because we have many boost towers. We have these boost towers boosting many, many towers. So this is kind of great, like really great. Okay, so there we are, we're, we're doing well. And now I really wanna focus on getting some uh, iron into steel so we can upgrade stuff. All right, so this is needing nine iron. And that is right here, so they should be able to complete this quite easily. You can see we have a little bit of uh, plant fiber and that is being converted into cloth. We don't have the research yet to make it into warm clothes. That's another like uh, option, warm clothing here, uh, that we can go into. Okay, we have two well-educated people have grown up and we have two children born. This is really good, really good, really good. Okay, it is now spring now. Should we? Oh no! King Libkari 
Uh, has died of old age. Smelter. Oh, wow. So we basically broke even there. That's not ideal. Do we have a healer? I want to make a healer, I think. Um, we don't have any cooks anymore. No, there's nobody I can fire. Oh, no. Let's take the mortar mason off and put in a healer. Oh, a lightning gem was discovered. That's nice. Okay, let's find out what the lightning gem does. Okay, stun on hit and... Oh, adds a chance to have an attack double fire. Like, I would love to see what that chance is so that I could, like, plan properly. Never sure about those things. Now, I think what I do want to do is I'm going to fire the smelter and put them into farming. And maybe a builder as well. Because I feel like we have way too many fields for three people to manage. So... All right, let's let them do their thing there. And then we're going to get this going on. Okay, so, oh gosh, some, even more attacks. I can't believe this. There's so many. Um, all right, so we have two towers that require... That's 15 iron between them. I'm considering... I think I want to make some into steel. So let's make a little bit into steel here. Oh, a fire gem was discovered. Wow, hooray. What does a fire gem do as a boost? I'm curious now. Increases the base tower damage. How is that different for... This is greatly increases the tower's max damage. Oh! Okay, so a tower has, like, I guess a base damage and then probably ranges to a max. So, okay, damage for each is random between base tower and max damage. So this increases the base damage. Wow, that's powerful. That is sounds like a very, very good boost uh, item. So... We want to get 10 steel and not too much more than that or maybe 20 to do two towers because um, if we get too much then we're going to run out of iron and we don't have enough people right now. <laughs> we just don't. Okay, farmers are done I think. Farmers doing well. Yay. Okay, let's go ahead and fire those farmers and put some into... Where do we put them? Smelters. There we go. And we'll have one general worker. We'll leave the builders alone for now. And we might... Um, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Iron done. Iron dead. <laughs> You're dead. You know, what? I'm going to convert all of it to steel, I think. And then we can make more iron. That's what I think I'm going to do. Looking. Look at all of our crops. Aren't these great? They're cool. Yay. Nice. These are the mushrooms. And we have these... Other fruits. Oh, 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 gates. Sprinting demons. Demons are... These are not the bad demons. There are demons that have armor and they are like so dangerous, bad, horrible. They're mean. No. So I think here what I want to do is upgrade to a wind tower maybe. It increases attack frequency. Um, we only have one wind gem, so I guess we'll use it. But we're going to put this on a high. But they need 10 steel each. And if we look at, let's look at our research and get the, what was it? The fire gem? Let's get fire damage. Okay. Okay, looking good. We're doing good. Doing really well, actually. I am happy. Happy. Okay, we have our stuff being converted. Research is being done. Everything is working. Wow, this is great. We are doing great. And then then watch, the game will like send us a big demon to kill and then we're going to be toast. Like, toasty toast. <laughs> really toasty toast. Alright, let's go. Let's go. It's okay. This is such a funny one, the mortar mill. I feel like the, usually spinny things are on top of like the um, research places, you know? They had one in, um, I really like the one in Timberborn, where it's like a Leonardo da Vinci flying machine thingamajingy on the top. That's cool. Oh, oh, here we are. Here we are. Look, so here's our wind boost tower. You can see that it has a light on the top. You can see light, and you can see it from the top very visibly, what it is. And it shows you which towers it is boosting. So that is fantastic. Now then, uh, this one... Hmm. At the moment, we can only do ice or wind. We don't have any more windy ones. But I think we might do this as an ice boost tower. So let's upgrade this here to that. Okay. So that's good. 
Oh, oh, deep roar, deep roar. Roar. Help, help. Let's go and fix our um, smelting situation as well. Let's go make some iron because we don't have any iron to make steel. So steel is a sneaky thingy thingy. Uh, it is five charcoal and 20 iron to make five steel. So it's four iron per steel. So it's a huge, huge recipe that we need to you know, watch out for. This one. Oh, I guess we ate the steel somewhere else, didn't we? Oh dear. Okay, well, it's fine. We'll get it figured. Maybe they're bringing it or something. I think we really need more people. Let's see, what's going on now? Are these supposed to be harvested? Yeah, some are harvested. I think we need more people. No, I'm feeling like there's so few teachers. It's so hard right now. Uh, I guess we take off a miner and put on another farmer for now. Oof. And all the stuff piling up outside. It's like, wow. Okay, so this is the stone. It's in blocks. And this is the ore. It's in these like tubs or like uh, crates. Crates. Oh, nice. Oh, this is good. More towers being affected. Hooray. Okay. We have armored minotaurs. That's a bit scary. Let's see. Let's watch them come through. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Okay. They are doing well. We're doing well. So this is boosting these to go faster. Okay. That's great. And most of these are stacking bonuses as well. I think they're all stacking bonuses. There we go. And they are dead. Hooray. Okay. Very nice. All right. Let's go here and choose. Now we can get, let's get the braziers. I think that's going to be really important in the winter time. We also have a fire. Did we get fire? Yes, we got fire. We need the fire boost still. Oh, let's get the fire boost. All right. That's fine. We'll get the fire boost. Okay. And... Oh, there are still farmers working and it's night. Oh no, are we going to get all the mushrooms? Help, help. Yes, we got them all. Hooray. All right, job management. I think we definitely need four farmers. Uh, we're just going to have to suffer on cooking or something. Um, okay, that, that'll work for now. That's fine. I love, I love the summer. Look at all the fireflies. It's just beautiful. It's like so pretty. It's like, wow. It's like magically, magically wow. I like it. It's beautiful. So nice. So nice. Anyway, uh, yeah. Here, here I am getting lost in the in the pretty visuals, and I don't know if I mentioned the music yet, but I love the music in this game. It's so chill. Like it doesn't even matter that we're killing things, monsters, bad monsters, <laughs> because the game it just like calms you down. It's just like you know, it's okay. You can chill. It's great. It's funny because, like, this game surprises me more and more how much I like it. So, it's it's very cool. I think it's really awesome, like, I, I get sent many, many different games by different developers, and some of them I play and they just don't click for me. But man, this one is just like one of those gems, literally gems. <laughs> but it's it's turned out to be so nice. And I'm really enjoying the challenge because like in most tower defense games, you just plop, plop, plop a tower. But this is like, oh my God, we have to have people building these towers and it's scary and yeah, stuff. Let's make some steel. Um because like there's a waiting time it's not just like three seconds to upgrade a tower this is serious business here so yeah it's kind of crazy let's see this is bombardment bombardment large arrow tower i think we're gonna go what is this this is a an ice boost tower which is uh max damage and attack frequency so this is not going to affect any of these i think i want to change this one to a large arrow tower that on high okay armored level four ogres that doesn't sound good this i also want to have a bombardment tower there 
Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh boy. This is ay yeah 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 yeah. Look at this. Barely making a dent in these guys armor here. This is going to take a bit. But the boost towers are superbly superbly effective. They're really great. Okay, there we go. We got this going. Yay. Okay, so these guys actually could do with another round here. These large arrow towers. So I'm going to go ahead and make... Well, you know what? I don't know if I should make. I think I'll leave it for now. Because I really want them to build the other things. Okay, so let's see. What do we have now? We have stuff that's getting converted to cloth. We could make some... We can't make warm clothing. Oh, no. Let's make warm clothes. Because that's a thing that we can we can do. Terra gem has been found. Hooray. That's good. I forgot what that boost was again. It is. Let's see. Increases AoE hit area radius. Ooh. That's nice. Is there one that increases general radius? Here it is. The sun gems. Do we have any? No. We don't have one. <laughs> oh no. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, it'll be fine. Okay, it is winter again. Winter must be one of my favorite seasons. I do love the snow, but also there are more people existing after winter. So that's exciting. <gasps> Ooh, looky, looky. We got our second gem tower. Hooray. So let's see. We need iron for the next part. So let's go ahead and... One thing I do wonder, I don't know. If I change production... Okay, they are ejected. That's good. I was like, oh, does it get eaten? But no, the iron is now outside and the charcoal is also outside. So that's good. Good to know. So these access gates are not actually that convenient, I'm seeing. As in, maybe I should have one on either side of the kill zone. Because, like, this is a wasted spot for a tower. Because this could be boosted by, like... Two, 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 two towers. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe let's put one here. Let's upgrade this to a gate wall. And then this one can be a tower instead. Oh, that's nice. Let's go high on this one as well. Just keep on boosting these towers. I feel like the, um, the boost towers are very much more effective to put the gems in than single towers, at least initially. So that's kind of my strategy at the moment. Warm clothes have been researched. Uh, let's see. Quality warm clothes is even better. So let us make... Let's see. We have 120 cloth. That's kind of good. So let's go to warm clothing in here. And that is converting the cloth into clothing. As in, uh, you can't just use raw fiber to make clothing. You have to have that intermediate step, which makes perfect sense. Ah, but with this tower, we are going to need more space. More space. Um, hmm. Let's do standard and do high. Rotate, rotate. Here and... I'm wondering if I should put these um, gates on the corners. As in this where, where this is. Let's build one there. I think that's a better idea. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, I can't build it now. And enemies. I thought they were dead, but <laughs> they're just spiders. You can't see them. There we go. Okay, we are easily just murdering all of these things. This is kind of great. Kind of great. Okay, let's do that. Let's put a gate wall on the corners here. Like one here. And the cool thing about this is that we'll be able to skip every other one. That's quite nice, actually. Put one there. This one can be normal priority. Uh, there is a road somewhere here, which we can't see. It's hidden by the snow. Okay, whoops. Do, do, do. I think it's right there. Put that here. This is a bit of a weird part of the mountain. So we'll see where we can build. Let's see, let's destroy this on high. I don't know if they can get through this corner, but we're going to put a corner there anyway. And then later we can upgrade these to towers if we want to. Oh, this is looking good. This is very exciting. Really exciting. 
Oh, it's too bad this was not in the right spot there. Dang it. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, this one we want to have to be a bombardment. Do we want a bombardment tower? I'm thinking we might even want, like, a big tower here. Let's cancel this one. Oh, wow. We have three educated people. Superbly educated. Nice. Those three are entering the workforce, and we have three children born. Let's cancel. I want to can... Should I cancel this one? What I'm thinking is, like, as the critters come around do these affect these yeah they do so these are bombardment towers as well what i'm thinking is like having bombardment towers to lead up to the large arrow towers so i think i want to cancel this one and make this a large arrow tower yep that should be fine and also maybe this one as well okay let's do that and then let's do more Maybe? I don't know. We could do a bombardment tower in the middle, kind of. Yeah, let's do that. It's kind of weird because, like, you don't know how long their buffs will last. Like, if uh, I made this one into, like, an ice tower or something, it would slow them slightly. Um, but how, how many circuits or how many lengths is that going to last? You know, they can still keep the buff. Um, so that is something we can kind of look at and see how long they need all right we are doing really well though so oh a gong beyond the gate rumbles now let's see how they do building this stuff we are getting quite a lot of iron which is great we want to look at our job management we have three general workers now i think i can maybe put somebody into building we need uh no <laughs> we need charcoal burners to get all that iron going on but so far, things are going pretty well. I like that we have this extra area for the monsters to get hit. Uh, see, even this tower here needs all of this space to be working. So I think in the future, I probably will design this to be a little bit smaller of an area or stretch the boost towers a little bit longer. We can still actually do that. We can, like, we can make this one a boost tower and make this one a boost tower. And maybe, let's see, if that one's a boost tower, they kind of reach uh, two, but then we could upgrade the boost tower with a gem that boosts the area of the boost towers. There. Oh no, this one. <laughs> oh, here we are. Yeah, increases the range of boost towers. So we'll not boost the range of other life boost towers. Okay, so you can have one of these. And I guess maybe the play is to put that one like right there. So let's go ahead and put that in the research. Let's get a life damage and then life boost afterward. Because this one should, or maybe make this one that. But we need a bigger tower here. Oh, well, hello. Hey, friends. How you doing? How you doing? Level 216 total. And they are easily killed with this setup. Easily, easily. Okay, so this should be done shortly. We have 8 out of 10 houses filled. Okay, that's good. We're not lacking, in other words, for houses. So it looks like the life boost tower doesn't quite stack. But I would like to boost both of these. So I'm thinking, like, change this one to a boost tower. Let's do that right now. Let's change it. Replace with small arrow tower. Yeah, I guess we have to we have to do the weirdness here. Get all of these things going. We'll do another bombardment tower there. Okay, so this one we want to be a boost tower. There we go. Hi. Alright, life damage. Now we want to do life boost. Let's go there. This is pretty exciting. This is actually really exciting. I feel like quite excited about killing all these monsters in this fashion. <laughs> it is gonna be fabulous. Okay, let's get a regular wall here. And then this area is gonna be the really interesting one. I guess this can be normal for now. And then I think, I think I kind of want stuff to go up this way again, perhaps. 
guess it depends. Yeah, this is going to be the limit of this area, but I don't know if I'm going to put... I might even put another set of boost towers in here. Uh, that's another possibility that we can explore. Let's see, this end bit. Let's see... Okay, thank you very much. Let's look at this thing. We have walls. Let's see, we can go there, 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 here. Yes, okay, so we can go one more... Hello? Oh, it's already there. Nice. Is that a... No, that's a gate wall. Oh, this is... Yeah, silly me. Okay, um... Standard wall. Okay, so we can go there. Up one? No. Okay, so we need to take this this way. And then put a corner over there. Yay. Okay, good. Let's go. I want to install this one and I want to see how much it increases the distance. So here we have two away on the horizontal. Okay. Hello. That was a ding. Hello, ding. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Water. Do we have any? We do have Terra. So I'll take that one. Or, oh, we should do improved aesthetics so we can get the braziers. Those are actually really good. All right, come on, folks. Get this. Do. Do the thing. Pop. I guess this one can be improved to a gate wall. Okay, we have level six trolls coming in. Oh, here we go. Wow, those are just like... Those feel offended. We're like, no. <laughs> These are a bit, these are a bit tanky. Look at this. Wow. Okay. All right. Wow. Oh, we might get killed. This might be really, really bad, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. One might die, but the others, I think, are not dying. Oh, boy. This is going to be a tiny disaster. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help. 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 They are still getting hit, but man, they have hit points. Ay, 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 ay. Wow. I don't know why they're stopping. They keep getting like this blue shield thing. I'm not sure what that is. As in like they haven't been hit in a while or something. Maybe they're regenerating. I don't know, but these are like, this is not a happy time for us. We are, we are not going to be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, so we are going to lose some buildings. Oh no! <laughs> it's because we didn't get the life gem installed. Oh no! Oh no! What are they doing? Okay, they're coming out here. What are they gonna kill? They're probably gonna kill my mines or, or plants or something. Let's see what they're gonna kill. Alright, they got a field. One field that's... Oh, two fields and a... What? Farm farm and... Oh, the healing hut. Yeah, that's not good. Let's rebuild and high. Oops, hello. Oh no! Oh, <gasps> wow! They got the healing hut and the school? Aw, that's mean. No! Okay, this is important. Okay, I think what we need to do probably is we need to rebuild our town, but um, we don't have enough time to do that in the current episode. So I'm going to save that for next time, but I hope you've um, enjoyed this little kind of preview of the gems I've been kind of excited to play with them and hopefully we can get enough research done and all the other things done so that we can actually install some in the towers so that they can start giving uh, the monsters very very bad debuffs so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time